It's despicable, it's disgusting, and I fucking despise the Democrats for not actively fighting against it and sometimes directly leaning in to that narrative. Yeah. Uh, 8 p.m. Eastern time on CNN. I'm on this, I'm featured on this documentary that he did, this short doco that he did. Uh, this is another, uh, another slot from CNN where he's promoting it. Let's take a look. What is it about some of these guys that has made them go from far left to far right? Like every young man in a certain point of their lives have like had um, some kind of insecurity, yeah. whether it be about their sexuality or whether it be about like their future prospects or whatever. And I think that like a lot of, uh, a lot of these guys take advantage of that yeah. and present this false narrative that like, in order to be a man, you gotta be like homophobic. It's like, no, a real man is going to want to protect people who yep. are marginalized. All right, Donny O'Sullivan with us now. Uh, wow, I mean, this this is pretty eyebrow raising and surprising. Uh, what surprised you? Hey, Wait, why is that eyebrow raising and surprising? You're like, wow, this dude who's brolic as hell with the sleeves busted off, talking about talking about uh, true masculinity. Fred, yeah, who you heard from there, his name is Hassan Piker. He is uh, on Twitch, which is a video game streaming platform. Uh, he's got about 3 million followers. Oops, I'm sorry. That's my Twitch going off right there. Um, uh, he's, he's got about 3 million followers there. Uh, and look, this is a whole new world of where young people um, and really people of all ages are getting their information and misinformation. So um, on video game platforms like Twitch, people are also discussing politics. They talk about politics all day. They discuss politics. And some of the men we met uh, on this journey for misinformation for the whole story with Anderson Cooper uh, were guys who spend most of their time online uh, many hours a day. They feel disillusioned. They feel left behind uh, by politics. They were formerly Bernie bros just up until even four as recently as four years ago, um, they see not, they don't see a material change in their life. They are getting more frustrated as they stay online, uh, and they have moved all the way to the to MAGA, but even beyond that, to the very, very, very far right and into really hateful and extremist uh, spaces online. I met two of them. Um, take a look at this. But the men that we met here weren't always this way. My she wants you. She tweeted that she wants to come on your stream. Who are you talking about? Chatters is just like hallucinating crazy ass shit nowadays. My name's Jackson Hinkle. A few years ago, Jackson was campaigning for progressive causes. I was BLM originally. BLM has been co-opted by NATO, by the government. And Adam, AKA Charmhole, had changed as well. So you used Money to be a big liberal. You used to be a big liberal. Absolutely. A big Democrat. Yeah. You were a Bernie bro? Bernie bro, through and through. I wanted to find out what had yeah. made them change. Why do you think the Russians like you so much? Well, I speak truth. Good to see you, man. Yeah. American politics is schizophrenic. So you, you got one side saying you're crazy. I love that this guy's like, American politics is just schizophrenic. And let me tell you something, okay? I am too. <laughs> So you got the other side saying you're crazy. Yeah, one of the guys you saw there, um, Jackson Hinkle, who I asked, why did the wrong... Not the guy in our Discord that got banned for saying circumcised people count as trans people? Shut the fuck up. Wait, that guy with the glasses is... He got banned from the Discord? Charmhole was a mentally ill chatter I banned three years ago? I thought you knew that. No, I didn't fucking know that. No, I don't know any of this shit, bro. I don't know. I, listen, what you see is what you get, okay? What you see from me, what you see from me, this, this is what I do online, yap about fucking politics. That is what I do, and that's the only thing I do. This motherfucker was a 22-month subscriber. I was banned from your Discord by transphobic moderation. I was attempting to debate transsexual issues and they got mad. I'm such an epic debate lord. Want to debate? Did I miss the big announcement? What was the announcement? In, this guy got banned in 2020. He was a 22 month subscriber. Oh my God.
harasses multiple users of the community in their streams unbanned through unbanned form denied unbanned after asking brita for input never unbanned 20 hours ago what is this sup Haas mod haha i got banned by Haas daddy two years ago for saying the word transsexual in chat could you revisit this ban for me and hopefully resolve it i'd greatly appreciate thanks fuck no but i heard he rescinded his take on that word and then trans pride and then intersex pride and 4 8 2022 No, those are global Twitch emotes that he's using. I did not know any of this. Should have talked about the common denominator and Bernie Bros turning to MAGA turds is getting banned in the chat. I think, I think Felix Biederman and myself, Felix by not replying to his reply guys or not liking their tweets and me just like fucking banning some of the most unhinged people in this community have probably have probably created more enemies than we care to admit, okay? Obviously, it's not my fault. But god damn, dude. Like, I try to fucking steer this ship in a positive direction on a daily fucking basis, you know? Here's his Twitter. Watching us on the Hun and by your logic commit massive amounts of of white racism labeled hogwash and getting away with it on Twitch. Disgusting behavior. Cancel cancel culture only ever seems to work one way. Please report for hate speech and racism. Thank you. Donnie kind of group you with these loons. No, dog. I'm if you can't understand what he's doing there to show that there is like a foil to this kind of misinformation, I don't know what to tell you. He's not saying I'm like them. He's saying there is like, there are normal people out there as well who are working actively to try and, 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 you know, counter this misinformation. Russians like you so much. He's a 24 year old from California, from San Clemente. Uh, eight years ago, he was a Bernie kid, basically. He was picking up trash uh, on his beach in, in, in California, was mm. working on progressive causes, and now has made this, just over the space of a few years, this very hard turn right. Wow, I mean, a real hard turn. So um, what are their views on Kamala Harris? <laughs> uh, they're not big fans. And look, I mean, they are, these guys are steeped now in the world of MAGA, but I think it's, it goes far beyond that. And it's something that we are seeing uh, in the US, but also all around the world is this kind of radicalization of men, um, people who are, men who are feeling disillusioned, uh, who feel like they've been left behind in some sort of ways. And there are people- These guys are pissed that you're being shown as a fool that are bullshit and bitching in the comments about how you're not a real leftist. Yeah, dude, if you're, if you're considering yourself to be MAGA in any way, and then also simultaneously try, trying to hold on to the idea that you're some kind of leftist, you are the biggest delusional on the person on the planet. I need to make something clear. I hate the Democratic Party for their closeness in policy to the Republicans. Okay? If you can't understand that, I don't know what to tell you. That's it. That's it. There is not a single fucking thing that the Republican Party advocates for or MAGA advocates for that I find to be good. And my hatred for the Democratic Party stems from the reality that they cave and capitulate to the right on a regular fucking basis. Do you understand? There is no world where I just like go, oh, I'm MAGA now. Like, that's not a thing. That's not a real thing. It's despicable. It's disgusting. And I fucking despise the Democrats for not actively fighting against it. And sometimes directly leaning in to that narrative. Okay. It is antithetical to my worldview. I think it's antithetical and incompatible with human values. And I think it's gross and disgusting that the Democrats even dare 
to lean into some of these weird, like completely fascist perspectives that the Republicans have. Okay. The immigration conversation is a perfect example of this. So no, of course I have no. So of course, of course I have no interest in, in, you know, people like this who consider themselves to be fucking MAGA. You are a liberal, okay? You are the thing you hate the most. A person who simply has hyper-focused on the aesthetics, a victim of the culture war.